Hey guys, welcome. It is Monday afternoon. Basically, there are five different habits that I want to try this week. I wanted to see how I would feel at the end of the week after doing all of these habits every single day and just seeing if it reduces any little stresses or anxieties. Feel free to do this with me. Number one is no phone two hours before bed and two hours after waking up. This is something I really want to practice getting good at because I find that it just keeps my mind racing. And the same goes for in the morning. If if you wake up and you automatically look at your to-do list or any texts that are coming in or any emails it has already put you in this like go 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 mindset of like I have so much to get done number two is a calm morning ritual so make bed make a cup of tea have some quiet reading time do some stretching this is something that I already try to do most days I like having time in the morning but I'm really going to be intentional with that morning time number three is tidy my space before bed so that could be the living room just tidying up my space before going to bed. It could be doing the dishes, like making sure the kitchen is all clean, just anywhere that needs a little bit of a tidy up. Number four is reading before bed. This is something that I do most nights and it helps me sleep so much better than if I was just to go on my phone or if I was to just try and lay down and go straight to sleep. And number five is limit decision making or specifically meal prep and meal plan for the week. In your day-to-day -day life already, you make so many decisions, so many little decisions. Do I get up or do I snooze my alarm? Do I work out? today or do I skip today and when I was reading about it it made so much sense that those little decisions would just like kind of add up little anxieties or little stresses so that's this week I'm really excited to see how it goes so I wrote down all of the meals that we were gonna have this week I like doing that in general because it helps when grocery shopping so you know exactly what to buy I also want to meal prep a little bit having some things ready for us to eat two things that I'm gonna make right now um, one is some chia seed pudding chia seed pudding is something that we have every week and it's just so quick and easy Easy to grab from the fridge, add some protein powder, add some berries, such a great breakfast or a great snack. And then I'm also gonna make some little egg bites that can be heated up during the week. I will probably put a show on. I've been loving Hulu at the moment. I've finished watching Only Murders in the Building and Cruel Summer. I feel like Hulu just has so much, I don't know. I've never had Hulu before, so I feel like there's so much on there for me to watch. <laughs> It's just after nine o'clock. I put my phone away at around 7.15. Just when we were having dinner and stuff, I just decided to put it away then. I'm gonna do my skincare now and hop into bed and read a little bit. The book that I'm reading right now, oh my gosh, what is it called? I cannot think of the name of it. It's like a royal romance. I think it was written inspired off of the story of Prince uh, William, Prince William and his wife Kate. It's really good so far. I'm really enjoying reading it. I love reading rom-coms, but what I found when I'm just like trying to read like sweet stuff, boom, there'll be a sex scene. The last book that I read was The Spanish Love Deception. It was so good. And one of my favorite books I've read so far in the like rom-com category, but it was so saucy. I just don't really care to have that like in my books. I just want a cute love story or a really good mystery. <laughs> Milo he is usually really good at night, really quiet, especially like the past couple weeks. He's been so good, super quiet at night, just happy to go to bed and go to sleep. But last night, for some reason, at 4 a.m., he was barking like crazy. Usually, that tells us that he needs to go out. He's usually giving us a signal. He's not usually just like barking and scratching for no reason. So Gabe got him, took him out. He did not need to go out. He barely did anything outside. I think he was just ready to wake up and he was bored that we were sleeping. I had already been awake long enough where my mind started to just like think about 
stuff. It got to 5 a.m. and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get out of bed. It took me probably about an hour, but I ended up falling asleep on the couch. I had a little nap and then Gabe woke up, came downstairs. When he came downstairs, it woke me up and then I just came back to bed and slept for a little bit longer. So I feel like I've been awake since five o'clock, but I've had two naps. So I didn't start my morning the best. I was so tired, but I still had like a nice slow morning routine, which was really nice. I'm going to log on to my BetterHelp account. I've been using BetterHelp now for uh, about a month and a half. I had heard a lot on social media about BetterHelp. So when they reached out for us to work together, I, I've done therapy on and off for probably the past three years, but I didn't want to talk about BetterHelp without actually trying it myself. And it worked out because since coming back from Australia, I hadn't gone back to my therapist here in Florida, but I'm really enjoying it. And I said that I would love to work with them. So this section of the video is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you haven't heard of BetterHelp, it is basically online therapy. It's not a crisis line or anything like that. It's professional therapy. When I signed up, there was like a questionnaire that I filled out that went through some questions about me, what I would like to take from therapy. And then from there, BetterHelp assess your needs and will pair you with a licensed professional therapist. You can log onto your account and chat with them at any time. You can book weekly sessions through video call, just normal call or message. It's really nice because you don't need to travel somewhere or sit in a waiting room. I do my sessions right here on my bed and it's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is also available. I've really been enjoying it and I'm definitely going to stick with it. It's just nice being able to do it in the comfort of your own home. So if you guys are interested interested in trying out BetterHelp, they gave me a really great offer where you can get 10% off your first month. So you just need to go to betterhelp.com slash jessconti. So it's better H-E-L-P. So I just logged on and I have a message from my therapist. So I'm going to book my next session. I don't know how long this is going to last for because the battery's already flashing. Gabe and I need to run to a meeting. This morning has been a little weird. We finished our double date last night and went to bed a little later than we would have liked to. So we woke up at 7.30 this morning. It's just after 8.30 now and we're heading to a meeting. So for the two hours in the morning of not looking at my phone was only an hour this morning because I haven't actually gone on it. I just checked my notifications just to make sure that like nothing was changing about this meeting. I'm making a slow cooked chicken and vegetable soup right now. I decided I wanted to make a soup when Florida had a couple colder days. They were like chilly for Florida. It was so nice. It's kind of gone back to normal now, but I found this recipe while it was cold a couple days ago and I really wanted to try it. So even though it's not super cold today, I think this will be really nice. <laughs> Thursday. It is our filming day today. So I'm here in Gabe's beautiful office. What up, people? Um, we're filming in our little podcast setup. So we have the camera, the light all set up there. Like back in the day, if you used to like, on a, say on a weekend, right? If you were on a golf course over 50 years ago and you're sitting there just hanging out with the two people that you're with and you're just having a good time with them and all of a sudden everyone else in your life shows up and goes, hey, hey, I, I need this from you. Hey, what hey, are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing later night? Hey, <laughs> and it, they're just like, and you're like trying to golf. Yeah, right? exactly. And just like talk with your friends or whatever it is. And there's people just on the sidelines going, hey, hey, like all these other people you know. Yeah. Like that's exactly what having a phone is now. So anyway. That was good. <laughs> Special delivery for Jess Conti. I have a package from Tatcha, which is an incredible skincare company. Very luxurious and like, I love Tatcha products. It has come in this beautiful wooden box. I have no idea why I've gotten a package from Tatcha. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Oh my gosh, it's such a nice box. I could probably keep this and use it for like some storage. Okay, I got the Tatcha Calming Tea Chamomile and Lemongrass Blend. This little eco block it's called and you drop some essential oil onto it. Indigo Overnight Repair. So I think this is a night cream. So I have some oil for this little wood block. This is the Essence, which is another Tatcha product that I love. This is a cleansing oil and this is the Rice Polish Classic, which I have this. I use this to exfoliate. This is so good. I... Thank you, Tatcha. 
it's 8 just after 8 45 and i've come upstairs to get ready for bed this is very early i don't usually come to bed this early but i thought i'd come upstairs and just brush my teeth do my skincare get in bed and read for a little bit definitely the biggest difference that i've noticed this week has been with putting my phone away two hours before and then not touching it till two hours after I wake up. Not looking at my phone, not looking at social media at night, not looking at text messages has been so good for me. And this is something that I definitely want to continue to do. If you were to try one habit from this whole video that I've done this week, I would 100% recommend the two hours before bed and the two hours after bed with your phone. It has been the best positively impacting habit that I've tried this week. It really has given me more peace of mind way less anxiety just i guess not looking at stuff not looking at social media or texts or emails or anything late at night and then first thing in the morning it has been so good i'm gonna do some skincare and get into bed and read the royal we it's really cute i'm really enjoying it at the moment <laughs> some um christmas cups fun 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 we are off to a cafe to do some computer work some computer work some computer work today fixing the computers because they're broken it's friday though which is so nice it means tomorrow i can do my paint by numbers Ooh. let's count to three and we have to say the same word then we continue saying words until we get to it right yeah okay okay hold on three two one christmas mm. three Two, one, December. Get. How did how does December correlate with Tesla? Three. You're supposed to like get closer in the middle. Okay, so wait, December and gift, right? Yeah. Three, two, two one, one. Surprise. holidays. Surprise and holidays. Three, two, one, present. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus and present. All right. You ready? Yes. Three, three two, two, one, one. present. Oh that was gosh. close enough. That's yeah, that's good. That was. We said the same thing. <gasps> Why did I squeal? All right, we're at the coffee shop now. We so made we're gonna... it, dude. We just we just finished the game right before the coffee shop was meant to be. We're gonna get some work done. Alrighty. Okay, today is now Monday, so it's been a week since this little habits experiment. This was such a great experiment, and still. If you were to take one thing away, I would say the phone two hours before bed and two hours after bed. I know time off my phone always makes me feel good, but right before bed and first thing in the morning, I didn't expect it to have such a positive impact on my week. And what was really interesting is my screen time on average for the week went down like two, I think it was two hours. Just in general, I thought that was really great that my screen time went down. I'm definitely going to continue doing that one. It was so good for me and for my anxiety. I think I already mentioned, but the week before I was having um, much worse anxiety anxiety and some insomnia the change that this week has been from last it was really good a lot of my anxiety used to well not that it's fully gone away or anything but a lot of it would come at night time i would get into bed and i'll just give you an example i'll get into bed and i'll be trying to go to sleep and i'll just like my heart will start racing that's one thing that would happen a lot at night and i didn't get that last week anyway it was really great and i would recommend if you guys want to try implementing some new habits all of these were really great so thank you guys for watching i am sitting at gate F1 wheel if you could see that in the corner. This is his pride and joy. Love you guys. Hope you have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.